Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to all of you. I am Soha Tahir and I will be presenting about the rules of critics. Before I begin with my talk, I would like to remind everyone to always respect people. Criticize less and sympathize more. My talk here is not aimed to teach you to always criticize people, but it is to teach you if you happen to be in a situation where you needed to criticize someone, how to act more professionally and how that critic would actually help someone. So for this, I will use an example to prove my points to you. The example is a student has been given an opportunity to present his first ever talk in front of 100 people. After he was done with his talk, he asked his friend's opinion about how his first ever talk was. So bear in mind, he had good points. He was confident along the way. He even answered the Q&A session all correctly. The only problem that can be seen in his talk was he err err a lot. Now I will tell you the possible ways a friend can use to comment on the talk. The first way, hey, you were really nervous out there. Are you alright? But it's okay, these things happen all the time. You were good out there. If I could read this comment, this comment is the worst comment ever. The person will think that he has messed up for 90% of the time and was alright for just 10% of the time. Moving on on the second way. Hey, you were really good out there. But it would be great if you improve your err by practicing more. So for this time, the friend has um, complimented him first before criticizing him. It is slightly better than the previous one, but still in the category of bad. Why? Because he uses the word but at that. When a person uses the word but, it might question the sincerity of the original praise and call all attention to the mistakes of the person indirectly. So for the third way, I will replace that but with an N. It will be something like this. Hey, you are really good out there. And it would be great if you improve your err by practicing more. So now, the, for this scenario, the critics has not been emphasized. The person still believes in the compliment. So the comment is good. But now I will present to you the best comment. It will be something like this. Hey, your outfit is really great. It is something that people will be wearing during a presentation. And I really like your hairstyle. I really like the way you mentioned about women rights in your talk. Because it is something that people should know, especially during this era. And congratulations on answering all the questions correctly. It is something that people will not be doing uh, on the first ever talk. For the next time of your talk, I'm sure you will be smoother than this. So now, what do you think about this comment? This time, the person has described every possible compliment there is before criticizing him. This time, the friend has been more motivated and he might be thinking that if he can be this good during the first ever talk, he will be so much better uh, during his next talks. Here, I do acknowledge that this comment uses a lot of your thinking and energy. But think of this way. Your one comment can affect the future of a person. So it is crucial to always be careful with your words. It is indeed tiring, but it is so worth it for the long term. With that being said, I will now end my talk. Thank you for lending me your ears and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Meow.